it has been a super hot minute since I had a video last and I thought it would be a really good opportunity to kind of restart the channel and start those conversations again around notebooks. So for this year, I'm going to be doing a couple more interviews with people. Um, and my first one for the year is going to be with Mark from Men Who Bullet. And we're going to be chatting about some really fun stuff and, um, there might even be a couple of sneak peeks in there that you may not even need to know about yet, um, but that'll be in the next video. For this video, however, though, I really wanted to talk to everybody about um, bullet journaling and kind of where it came from, not the original method. We've spoken about that tirelessly, but for me personally, where it came from, um, the notebooks that I started with, where they progressed to, how, what that kind of changeover was, what they really looked like versus what they looked like on Instagram, and then kind of progress into what I'm using now, um, what I'm using for 2022, my lineup for 2022. It's not your typical notebook lineup, um, and I'm kind of really excited to talk to you about it because it's actually the first time I'm talking about uh, you know the stuff that I'm using on a daily basis versus the stuff that I'm curating or creating for Instagram or YouTube or creating for creative purposes I've um I've kind of lost my creative stance or bent over the last year um and I talk about it a little bit more in my interview with Mark but essentially I've taken a break for over a year um, that kind of came about from one of my last videos I felt was just really contentious and I didn't like how the community responded to it. I, you know, and I think, you know, keeping that in mind, you know, I think everybody's allowed their opinion and the fact that I was attacked for mine wasn't great. Um, I've had so many notebooks in my lifetime that I feel that, um, you know, I have I have a pretty good leg to stand on when I say I know how a notebook should feel or, you know, how a company should respond or et cetera, et cetera. So for me, you know, it's really important to make sure that people understand that usually when I'm talking about notebooks or notebook reviews or in theory, they are coming from a place of actually I've used a lot of notebooks and, you know, I don't just speak from you know absolutely no way I speak from experience and I've used them and I, a lot of times I create in them and so there is some weight to what I'm saying it's not just me inventing things as I go so for this one we are going to talk about um the notebooks I started in um we're going to talk about the GSM and how they progressed and what I learned about each kind of step of the way and I'm really looking forward to taking you through that journey with me. It's almost uh, six years of journey, so let's get started. Okay, the very first notebook we had was back in heaven knows when, I think maybe 2015, 2016. And I started off with a moleskin. Um, it had square pages and, you know, the 60 GSM from moleskin is... Um, well, it's not great. <laughs> and, you know, we gave it a go. We did gratitude, um, night routines, um, brain dumps, meeting notes. But I seem always to get a little bit lazy. Um, so what I ended up doing, also you can see my start of my hand lettering journey. But one of the things that you um, can always see is... Um, I printed out these like little flappy sheets because I just felt the paper was too thin. So I <laughs> printed these out um, for what I needed. As I progressed though, like one of the things that I liked was that it was easy and really manageable. Um, but we kind of go, um, we can kind of go uh, further down and see how I kind of always lean towards um, note-taking. Okay, from there I headed straight into my first scribbles that matter. Um, it was really fun as well and it was super cute, you can see 2018. Nice thick paper, it was the original scribbles that matter so it had that nice kind of coated thick paper. Lots of opportunity to paint and draw. Um, it was 120 GSM, but it was coated. Um, did a couple of really fun spreads with it. I think this was probably my most creative and committed year in my bullet journal. 
Um, you can see it's always pretty messy though. Um, I'm never very, <laughs> very super neat. Um, created a couple of really cool um, ideas, etc. Um, had one for my son. My son kind of scribbled in it. He would have been probably all of um, five, maybe less. Um, so yeah, it's really, it's really cool to see the progression. And also you see the progression in lettering as well. From there, I got my first um, Archer and Olive, and it was just the original small size one, so it's about the same size as a as a moleskin. Um, and you can see my notebooks are usually pretty bloody thick. Um, and I used it as a notebook and as a tracker and all of the other things. And I also wanted to use it as a watercoloring uh, test book. Um, it has tons of you know really cool spreads and you can also see that my hand lettering started getting a little bit better um yeah and lots more painting a lot more creativity it was really nice going into a notebook that was 160 gsm uh versus the 120 it was a big change and took a little bit of getting used to but really really enjoyed it okay the next notebook i went into was my b5 stm um absolutely love this as well you can see I started getting a little bit more creative, um, but as always, I'm super messy, um, so I create things and then I just scribble all over them, and that's okay, because that's my style, it doesn't have to be perfect, and it's just really fun. This, I have to say that this was probably one of my favorite months, was my December spread, um, absolutely loved it, it had these cute little illustrations in and um, I just yeah I just absolutely loved it. it was absolutely one of my favorite spreads of all time I had this as well um, with the little Pahutakawas um, and also nice reflection pages um, swatch pages um, my level 10 life pages inspiration pages I'd say I probably had the most fun with this, um, where I was creating a ton of spreads and being super creative with what I was creating. Um, I said creative a lot. <laughs> yeah, so that was where I went to next. After that, I went straight back into a Archer and Olive, but this time I went into the planner and kept notes in the planner, um, but also tried to make it as creative and fun as possible. Um, it didn't always work out as planned. Um, sometimes I took up too much space with what I was doing or sometimes I just didn't use enough of it. Um, again, got really messy, wasted some of the really fun pages that I created. Loved this one. Um, super fun. And actually I really like this one as well. Maybe I should recreate it. And um, yeah, just I always get really messy with mine. From there, from there we head straight into my B5 Archer and Olive. You can see it's very well used. And this is where we start kind of coming into what works and what doesn't for me. This was one of my favorite spreads. Um, really enjoyed the creation and simplicity of it. Loved this one as well. And there were some really cool spreads in here. However, most of the time I end up heading straight back to my messy my messy self and it's usually a combination of kind of brain brain dumps um just thoughts how things are going to work um really all i need is a basic calendar and then the rest kind of falls into um kind of a brain dump space All right, now finally into this last year, 2020, um, what I did was I had two notebooks, one in my blackout and one in my white, and essentially, again, just note-taking um, is what I mainly do is brain dumping and note-taking, and in the black one is more around strategies or thoughts where I think um, I can kind of change ideas or the way that things are structured and work so much more around focus and work um, to ensure that 
I'm keeping really kind of cognizant of what's going on and that's how I ran 2021 was in a blackout and a white B6 and then this year um, I have decided that I am going to stick to my B5 team yellow notebook you can see team, team yellow and it's still fresh and brand new and it's essentially going to have a combination of what I really liked from previous years and then we're going to add in some new stuff. So stick around for another uh, video later. Um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to set this guy up and we'll do it together. Um, and I want to make it clear that it kind of works for your time and your space and whatever the difference is and you you know we want to make sure that people feel comfortable regardless of their skill and capability that they know that it's actually okay to have um any sort of notebook or any sort of journal um vibe <laughs>